Hi, and welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So today we're going to actually do something really interesting, which is that we're going to take a regex and convert it directly to a DFA. So the existing method, what you can do is convert a regex to an NFA and then that NFA to a DFA. But it turns out that using the Brzezowski derivatives that we talked about before, you can do this step actually directly. So the whole idea behind this is to actually construct the DFA one state at a time. And I think it's actually best to do this with an example. So let's do the regex uh, A, B, union, C, star. So this is an example I use in my classes all the time. So what do you actually do here? Well, what you do is you take uh, partial derivatives of this regex and you each of those derivatives is going to correspond to a single state. So you start oops, so you start off with the initial state which is taking the derivative with respect to epsilon and then so that's the start state and then from there what you do is you take partial derivatives you get more regexes which form more states and then each state is corresponding to a possible regex corresponding to the derivative. So let's actually make the DFA for, um, for this regex right here. So what we need to do first is to compute the start state, which here is going to be um, epsilon, uh, taking the derivative with respect to epsilon of r. Well, that doesn't actually do anything to the regex. Uh, so that is just a, b, union, c, star. And that will always be true. No matter what regex you do, if you try to take epsilon away from the beginning of every string, it doesn't change anything. So um, I'm going to start building my DFA right here, which is going to be q0. So this is my start state. But I'm actually going to name the state with the actual regex on the inside so that we can actually keep track of what the regex actually is as we're going along. So this is a, b, union, c, star. Uh, okay, so now what we do is we're going to figure out where this state goes on a, where it goes on b, where it goes on c. Okay, so what we can do is let's take partial derivatives of this state of this regex, well, well, actually the one in the state name, but it's the same thing in this case, with respect to a, b, and c. So if I do the the derivative with respect to a of a b union c star. Let me just make sure it shows up. Yep. So what is this? Well, uh, remember that when you take um, the derivative of something starred, you the result is going to be the derivative of one version of this without the star and then with the star again. So this is going to be um, a negative a one, so derivative with this whole regex without the star and then with uh, the star. And if you are unsure of why that is, go watch the video of how we actually derive this. So, and then whenever you have a uh, derivative with something that's unioned, you apply the derivative across the two things that are union, kind of like the, the, um, the distribution rule when you do derivatives in calculus. So that's gonna be a negative one, a b union, a negative one c, and then we still have this thing on the end. And so this term right here is going to go to empty set because if you take away for a away from everything in c, well, that's not going to leave with anything. So this is going to be the empty set, and the a negative first a is going to cancel right here. So we're just going to get b here. So b union the empty set is just going to be b. So the result of this whole thing is b and then concatenated with a union, sorry, a b union c star. Okay, And we haven't seen this uh, regex here because this is the only one that we've seen. So the state that we actually go to on input a I'm going to call q1 which is going to be b a b union c star. So that's the state we go to on A. So then now let's figure out where we go on B, and that's corresponding to replacing A in the 
expression that we did here when we did the derivative with b. So what does that actually give us if we put b in all these cases? Well, b um, inverse c, that's going to be empty set again. So let's actually write that. So that's empty set. And actually, this one is also the empty set because we're applying the derivative on the left side of a, b. So the derivative with a is going to, again, give us empty set. So empty set union empty set is empty set, but empty set concatenated with anything is going to give us the empty set. So in fact, the regex we're going to get out of this is the empty set. Pretty cool. So I'm going to uh, make a state over here on input B, which I'm going to call Q2, which is the empty set. And to save a little bit of work, if you apply a derivative with no strings, you're still going to get no strings. So this one, as we might expect, is going to loop on A, B, and C. Okay. So then what about on input C from this guy? So again, let's go back to the calculations we did over here and replace the B for the inverses with C. Well, the the first one, again, is going to give us empty set because we have C inverse A right here, and you can't, and that gives us empty set. But this gives us C inverse C, which is going to give us the empty string, not empty set. So the empty set union, the empty string, is the empty string. But so the empty string concatenated with anything is just the anything. So this is going to give us a b union c star. So it actually doesn't change the original regex here when we apply the derivative. So when we take this in, this c transition, we're, we should go to the state with this regex on it. But that's this state right here. And we can actually reason about this from the automata perspective because if we have a b union c star and we read a c, then because of the star, we should come back in to look at the next one. So now we need to figure out where this one goes on A, B, and C. So where it goes on A, where it goes on B, where it goes on C. But this one is actually a lot easier, and I'm not going to go through the calculation, because we have this B out on the front. So if I apply the derivative with anything other than B, I'm going to get the empty set because A inverse B is going to give us empty set and it, everything is concatenated together anyway. So we can actually determine that A and C are going to come down here. But if we apply B inverse to this, the B inverse with B is going to cancel, which is going to leave us with A B union C star, which is this state up here. Okay, that's great. So uh, so B. But then how do we figure out what state is final? Well, the only one that should be final is this one. How do I know for sure? Because this regex corresponds to the set of strings that are accepted from that state. If you start in that state and you read any string in that, um, in that corresponding regex, then you should be accepted. Well, this one says you have to start with a B no matter what. And so therefore, this state should not be a final state because no, no matter how you should accept it, you must start with a B, which means you execute a transition. So uh, this state down here shouldn't be accepted because it, it's the empty set. It, doesn't, uh, it uh, has no strings in it to accept anyway. This one is because it contains the empty string. And so if I take zero transitions, that leads us at the exact same state. So this state should be the only final state. Okay, And this is a minimal DFA. How do I know for sure? Because if I, I need to have two different states to correspond to the AB part. But if I eliminated, say, this state, then um, they would come down here and I would be stuck down here because I need to have a state like this because there are some strings not in this regex. And so that shows that we need at least three states and we got with actually three states. 
So if, if you actually convert this to an NFA and then convert the NFA to a DFA, you actually might get more states than this. So this is actually a direct way of constructing a DFA from a regex without the NFA in the middle. So the question I have for you is, do we always get a minimal DFA through this way? Um, and if not, what are some examples of DFAs from this that, we, that are not actually minimal? So leave comments down below if you have any other thoughts or interesting DFAs that you found using this. There are many links in the video description if you want to support this channel, such as liking and subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out. And as always, I'll see you next time.